Parents, um, it's hard to talk about climate change to kids because there's a, a, an apocalyptic dimension to it. It's catastrophic. When I have the conversations about it with my daughters, uh, literally one time it triggered an anxiety attack because, ah, you know, the world's coming to an end. But I think that's going to change, and, and in particular, for a couple of kinds of data. And what we're learning in the health sciences is climate change is going to damage the nervous systems of people around the world, right? Mm -hmm. So we're starting to, uh, any, if anybody's been to Beijing, as my research team recently did, and the air quality there, and what it's doing to the health distribution of that, those individuals, it's clear. What we're finding in our lab at UC Berkeley, in partnership, we're doing a project with the Sierra Club, is uh, one of the strongest predictors of a healthy immune system is having a, a, a healthy environment around you, a natural environment actually affects your nervous system. That health argument, and those data are expanding, will be very compelling to parents, as they always are, right? That this is about the life expectancy of my child. And I think, I think we'll be there in five years, and, and that'll provide a different kind of platform for this discussion.